I did not disconnect shit, video game. You're a liar. Always a pleasure, Mr. Stalin. I can't say the same since I, I don't even know who you are. Get to Leo fast! Henry will be there soon, okay. And there is a timer. So I have a time limit, of course. Remember I was driving using um, Henry's car. Music is a little bit loud. Well, I usually turn up the volume when there are cutscenes. They are lower compared to music volume. <coughs> yeah, and burps. Absolutely. So yeah, I got a time limit. It's been a while since I had a time limit mission. The only one that comes to mind, if it's not the very, you know, the only one I have done in the game at all, is the one that... You know, I, I needed to deliver the gas stamps. Which is what ended up getting me in the can later on the game. So yeah. Gotta go to Leo's house and warn him about, you know, Henry wanting it dead. Henry doesn't care, but well, Vito does. Besides, remember, Vito was able to leave prison before before he was, he was supposed to because of Leo Galante. So, yeah. It's kind of a nice thing that Vito wants to protect him. Actually, I want to cry right now. Not really, I couldn't care less. I'm a man. Not really. I am a man who likes other men, but that's another story. I got 25 minutes. I mean, assuming that clock is worth an hour of time. I'm not a big fan of these exaggerated turns. But I'm going up a mountain, but... Because I've been doing a lot of this type of driving lately for a lot of, of these uh, later missions. I don't know if there is a difficulty increase as such. So what? Do I have to ring the bell or just open the gate? Open the gate or kick the door? I mean, would it make any difference? 10 minutes away! Holy shit! Have 10 minutes to go up the stairs? Not really. Leo, How the hell did I get in here? Me, Very easily, opening the fucking the gate. Could have called Leo, there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clementi lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? <laughs> because they're gonna kill you. Stop talking, for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go. Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage. Because he's a friend. You know, we're just like Leo. That. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's going to be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. Henry can't see me here. We got to hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Isn't it better to get caught? I remember watching a guy years ago trying to, you know, so hard to keep Leo hidden. But isn't it better to fucking get found? Because that's how the story progresses. SPOILERS! Maybe we can fit in here. You got nuts? Nuts. I feel offended by that word. Today. Whoever gets the joke, gets a candy. And I'm not referring to my penis. Not this time. 
so I cannot go downstairs. Oh. Oh, Henry found me himself. Boys, wait for me outside. What boys? Come looking for me. Yeah, so many boys inside. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know anyone was going to put a contract out on him. I had to warn him. You got to understand. Yeah, but you got to understand that I can't uh. afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and he'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry. I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I got to finish the job. If you don't want to watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Leo, thanks for everything. Well, if it is about money... I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's got to be a way. Leo. Go. At least he did all he could. Don't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. Time for the bang. It's all shaky and shit. He didn't light it. Whatever. Bang! You owe me big for this one, pal. What? It's a lie. Hey. Yep. Leo. You want a drink? What the hell happened? He got him a drink and I got convinced. I'm gonna disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Okay. Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. So, yeah, he's getting out of here, like, right away. Wait, are you going to get dressed? Are you going on your pajamas? Are you really going to another place on your pajamas? I like this car, actually. It looks cool. Yeah, he's going on his pajamas. Whatever. Okay. I'll get me over to the train station if you wouldn't mind. Do you have any money at all? Now it's time to say goodbye. Go to the PJs? Damn right I am. <laughs> I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. Good point. I would go naked, not really. Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You don't have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got it. Well, oh my god, they always put the blame on me, motherfuckers. They can't blame the other guy. Well, I was going past speeding. Sounds good. Carlo wants me dead. Staying around here is like buying a one way ticket to the mall. You know a little drastic? No, oh, I've been getting too tired. Uh. When you get to be my age, Vito, and all this squabbling starts to seem a little bit. Frank's never gonna change. He's a brawl. Okay, here's the station. He listens to the young hotheads because they tell him what he wants to hear. If he wants to be some kind of wise guy, sheriff, and go after Carlo, then he can do it without me. No kids. I'm just waiting for all the dialogue. Actually, I couldn't even move. He's walking on his pajamas like he gives no shits. 
I really, I really wish I was like that, like in real life. No, I would rather go naked. <laughs> <laughs>